Hey there, welcome back with me Nathan. Just recently, the front-end agent Combi just dropped massive updates that make it easier to build high-quality UI in any tech stack. So in this video, I'm going to show you the updates in action. If you aren't familiar, Combi is the first AI agent specifically designed for front-end development tasks. It has specialized context engine and tooling to deliver clean, production-ready code. It greatly outperforms generic coding agents that use frontier models and MCPs in building UX from Figma, image, or text-based prompts. I have covered this tool in my previous video, and this time, I'm going to show you the new features that make it even easier to build high-quality user experience for your application. First, Combine now support over 350 plus libraries and frameworks used in front-end development. It supports almost everything you would use when building the front-end such as build tools, CSS libraries, component libraries, testing, authentication, and much much more. To add your text tag, simply open Combine extension UI and then hover to the text tag option down here. The text stack screen will show up, and you can add your text stack to come by over here. But instead of adding all the libraries yourself, you can also just click this scan workspace button to let Combi scan your code base and list the text stack. While Combi is running, let me show you the project we're going to build in this video. So here, I have a customer relationship management app built using Next.js, Tailwind, and ChatCN. For the back end, it uses Superbase and it currently only has a dashboard page. The rest of the features and pages such as companies, sales pipeline, they are all still empty and we're going to use Combi to build them. Back in VS Code, after a few minutes, Combi finished scanning the project and it shows all of the tag stack that can be found on this app. First, it has the core stack listing the framework which is Next.js then the style using Tailwind CSS and ShotCN for component library. And then there are key libraries, one for icon, another for charts, forms, authentication, and so on. All of them are now added to Combi as shown on the screen, and you can adjust this detail as you need. Adding as many relevant contexts is the key to generating great results with AI, and Combi allows you to do that just with one simple click. Next, we're going to start building this app, so in the chat box here, I'm going to change the interaction mode to plan mode. This mode is a new feature that enables Combi to write a structured plan before coding the app. I actually like Combi's plan mode as it has layout mockups and detailed breakdowns as you will see in a moment. For the prompt, I will ask the agent to build the company's page for this app. It should list all added companies and a button to create new company. Each company should be linked to a sales executive and a contact for that company. Press enter and let Combi process the request. It will analyze the current app structure first, and I will fast forward a bit as this analysis will take some time. After a moment, it will start writing the plan in a markdown file, and then display that file in the editor. Here we can see the design plan for the company's page. This is a low fidelity mockup for the page. We can see there is an input for search, a button to add a new company, and then a table for displaying existing companies. Below that, we have components breakdown, listing the components that will be used for this page. After that, we have reusable components, so come by actually take a look at the components already created in this project. We have it over here, uh, there are components for cards, paginations, labels, and so on. Instead of creating new components, Combine will try to reuse as much as possible, which is very cool. After that, we have theme and styling, and then implementation plan starting from phase 1, which is the data layer, ensure that Superbase integration is ready, and then phase 2, implement the table, followed by actions and navigation. Next, there are definitions of done and the to-do list. Overall, I love this plan created by Combi. It has just enough detail that we can understand what the agent is going to do. And since this is a markdown file, you can edit this file manually if you want to, or just ask Combi to change the plan for you by using the chat box. For example, I'm going to ask it to show the companies as cards instead of tables, and also show the mockup for the create edit company form. Press enter and let it process the request. 
Combine will then adjust the plan, and after a while, we can see the markdown file here. It displays the companies as cards, and below that, we have the create edit for model, which is very nice. It then adjusts the rest of the sections, such as the components breakdown, the reusable components, implementation paces, and the definition of done. When everything is correct, you can approve the plan, and Combi will start executing on the written plan. It will switch to code mode, and then start implementing the feature we asked. This will take a while, so I will skip ahead to when it's finished. Alright, so here the company's page is finished, with the agent reporting what has been done. There is also a list of change files over here, and in the project explorer, we can view the components that have been created. Let's view the result in the browser, and here's the company's page. They are listed as cards here, just like we asked, and then we have pagination over here. Let's try it out. Alright, it works. Now let's try to search something. Okay, it seems the search is also working. Now let's add a company. I will fill in this with random details, and then click create company and then edit the company, maybe change the cells executive. Okay, the data is saved, let's delete that. And we can delete the company, very good. And yeah, I think this company's page is now completed, so let's save all changes. Now, let me show you another cool feature from Combi, which is the browser integration. On the bottom side of the chat box, there is the play icon here, which will run a preview server. Click on that, and then let Combi run the preview server. It might ask you to run the development server of your project, and once the server is up and running, you can access it from the link provided by Combi. This will open a new browser window that's connected to Combi, Okay, as you can see, we have this pop-up on the bottom right side of the browser connecting this window to Combi. On this enhanced window, you can send DOM elements and errors to Combi as contacts, so you can iterate and build your app faster. First, click on this cursor icon, and now you can select any element on the page to add it to Combi. For example, I will select this upcoming event card, and now we can see the card element is added here. For the prompt, I will say, can you show some upcoming events example on this component? Click send to chat button here, and now go back to VS Code, and on the chat box over here, we can see the context items have been added to Combi. Press enter again to send the prompt, and let Combi process the request. After a while, it will finish the request, and now there are upcoming events added to the UI. Okay, that's how you can use the click and select tool. Now there is a second tool provided by Combi here, which is the snipping tool. You can use this when you have a group of UI components that you want to send as contacts. I will show you how it works, but before that, let me tell you about another awesome feature from Combi, and that is the curated design resources. Okay, so I want to build the sales pipeline page next, and I want to show something like a Kanban board for this page, where user can drag and drop deals that are currently in progress. And since I don't have any template or example ready for this page, I'm going to try out Combi's resource library, which you can find next to the preview server. Click on this button, and a new browser window will open, showing a resource library curated by Combi. You can use any of these libraries in your project using Combi, and there are libraries for UI design, animation, colors, typography, and much more. Now, I'm currently looking for a UI inspiration, so let's see if there is something I can use. Maybe try this hover design library. And there is a prompt over here showing how to use the library in Combi. Basically, you can just grab the URL of the component you want and paste it to Combi. The agent will try its best to adopt the component to your tech stack. Click go to resource here, and then let's look around. Okay, there is a Kanban board listed here, so let's click that. Okay, so I think this is something I can use. I can copy the URL and send it to Combi, but since this window is currently connected to Combi, Let's try the snipping tool over here. Let's snip the Kanban board component to add it to context. And next, I will add the prompt here, create a Kanban board for the sales pipeline page, use the snippet area as reference, but adjust it for sales pipeline. Send them to chat, and then in VS Code here, we have the prompt and context ready, so just send them to Combi. The agent will now work on the request, so let me skip to when it's finished. 
And here we have the sales pipeline page completed. So let's preview it on the browser real quick. Okay, we have the Kanban board here filled with examples. So let's try to drag and drop them around. Next, click add deal here. And we can see the create deal form. This looks great, but it seems we can't edit any of the existing deal. So let's go back to come by and then as it so that an edit form is shown when we click the title. It will work on the request and now it's done. So let's go back to the sales pipeline page, click on the deal title and yep, we can now edit the deal data. Great work. Finally, I'm going to show you how to build the UI using image as reference. We're going to build a calendar page next and I already have a screenshot of a calendar UI here. So I'm going to simply attach the image to come by and then ask it to build the calendar page following the screenshot, integrate it with existing data. After a while, it generated this calendar page for me and the UI looks very similar to the screenshot. There are several categories here and I can uncheck the category to hide it from the calendar. I can also add new events here, so let's add that real quick. Create an event for team meeting and then click create and the event is added here. There is still plenty we could do to polish this page, like adding a way to edit existing events. But let's stop here for now as we have covered the new features. Overall, I found Combine to be an amazing front-end agent that can really help you build great UI UX components a lot faster. The new features like the plan mode, the browser integration, and curated design resources really step up the game and make it much easier to go from an idea to a polished interface. It's currently available in all popular IDEs such as VS Code, Cursor, Anti-Gravity, Windsurf, and Tray. So if you're interested, you can install it for free and start exploring the agent right away. And now we have come to the end of this video. So what do you think about the new features from Combi? Go check it out at combi.com and let me know about your experiences. I hope you all enjoyed today's video and get some value out of it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'll join the conversation and reply as often as I can. If you're new to the channel, my name is Nathan and I help you build profitable apps and projects using AI and other tools. Make sure to subscribe if that's something you find useful. Don't forget to like this video, turn on the notification bell, all that good stuff as it really helps the channel to grow. With that being said, thanks so much for watching until the end. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in other videos. Bye bye!